Hey guys, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Beats Solo HD. Uh, this is the $199 version of the Beats by Dre. This is not the studio version. The studio version actually has a battery and has noise cancelling. Uh, this is the cheaper version, you save $100. This is the on-ear version, but the quality is just as good. And it's actually a lot cheaper, so you save some money. Um, some things that this comes with, it comes with a remote uh, inline mic. Uh, remote that you could use uh, for your iPhone, iPod, iPad. You can also use it with HTC, Blackberry, and Android. As you can see here, it says iPod, iPhone, iPad. Um, some things on the back that it says here. It is light and compact, so it is easier to travel with. It's not as big as the Beats by Dre Studio. So this is the the, the lighter version of it. Uh, as you can see here, there's a, a nice quote here from Dr. Dre, who's actually the maker of Beats, if you're not aware already. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got his signature on it, too. Uh, and this color here that I have is purple uh, with black. So this is a pretty cool color. So I'm going to open it up and check it out. Okay, it's a pretty nice box. Packaging is pretty nice. Okay, this is what you get inside. It looks like uh, it's already inside the travel case. So you can see, it's pretty good size. It's not too big, not too not small, but not too big either. It's the uh, studios. This is probably. Yep, here we go. Oh, this is pretty nice uh, inline mic. So this connects. Uh, your iPod, iPad, phone, whatever it is, to uh, to the, your headphones. So as you can see here, it's a pretty uh, pretty sturdy wire. Uh, here's your mic. You could also use this to play fast forward music on your iPhone, iPad. So it's a pretty good uh, quality wire. Um, comes with a little Velcro thing here too, so it keeps it nice and neat. I'll put that aside. Also comes with um, manual. Um, we'll go through that later. One of the reasons uh, I got the Beats Solo HD is simply because it is less than two hundred dollars. It is lightweight, um, you know, and I think quality-wise, it's the same quality as the more expensive Beats. You know, there's, there's the Beats Professional, there's the Studio Pro, um, there's a, um, there's also just a regular Studio. But for the price, it's probably one of the better buys. So it's got a nice strap here, so you can actually hold it. Beats logo. Let's open it up. Okay. As you can see, there's a pocket in here, probably to store the, uh, the wire. That's pretty cool. It does fold up pretty small. As you can see. Okay, folds up nice and neat. Fits right inside. So let's open this up. First thing I noticed right away after taking it out of the bag, it is very light, very light. So as you can see, the color is pretty cool. It's a nice purple. Okay, you can extend it on both sides if you have a bigger head, like I have a bigger head. So you can actually extend these if you want to. Okay, so it opens up pretty wide. It's purple and black. I like the black. It's nice. Okay. So as you can see here, the uh, the wire actually goes into the left ear cup, so that goes right in here. And like I said in the beginning, this does not need a battery, so you definitely uh, can uh, use these without having to worry about running out of battery power. Uh, so since it does not have noise cancelling, it's not going to be as quiet as the studio version and the more expensive versions, um, but the sound quality is basically about the same. So you never have to worry about carrying batteries. Um, everything else is pretty much the same as the more expensive versions, um, particularly the studio version. So, you know, I think it's just a preference. Do you want it on your ear? Do you want it over your ear? And I think these uh, will do just fine. So 
that's quick unboxing. Uh, I'll try to do a quality test uh, when I have time. Um, but I think definitely worth picking up if you, you want some stylish headphones that are light and portable. Uh, this is the way to go. Thanks, guys.